Hi Dana, it's Marty. Always quicker for me to do a video, so that's what I'm going to do. I actually just ran through a sample logo here, and I'm speeding it up on playback, and I'm just going to narrate what I was doing here. So I had Keynote open, and I'm just going to open up a new file. Now, uh, as I mentioned, you can use one of their templates here because they do have some you know, interesting backgrounds that you might want to use. But you can always start on a blank page and just use your own photo image uh, whatever you might have in files so here I'm actually just creating the shape of the banner and I'm using the inspector because the inspector actually has the exact measurements in pixels displayed there so once I get the shape that I want or the size that I want I'm going to do uh, take out the uh, middle of it and lock that border so that I'm just working within the area here so um, Let's just put a, some title and text in there, and we'll just uh, play around, make a quick border here. <coughs> some lines and text. I'm not sure how the colors of this will work. I'll add a little star here. These are all shapes that are in there, but it looks pretty corny right now. But as you'll see in the end, in the end, this is probably going to be a much better header than you see on many blogs. So let's just play around with the layout. Flickr here now. Do a search, Empire State Building. There, perfect. So uh, Flickr doesn't allow you to sort of click and drag, so this is where Skitch comes in. Skitch is a down free downloadable program. Again, you just click and crop, bring it right into Keynote, and all that blue is going to come out so easily by using Alpha, which is up top. You just click it, and then it just instantly disappears. It's actually really fun to use instant alpha and um, I sent that to the back because I want oh and here I actually changed the colors here too but you can uh, <coughs> uh, layer these images by doing shift alt command B for back or F for bringing it to the front let's change that font make an interesting banner here I'll do another uh, search for uh, a girl that we can get you know, picture in. This, one, this might be you or somebody else that you want in. In alpha, I'm just taking out the colors around her face. And we'll shape it. Put it into the banner. Send it to the back. I'll reshape it. She's hiding too much there, so I'll just enlarge it a little bit. Maybe we'll move the font around a bit more too to a better spot. You can make your banners a lot more interesting by having some real pictures in, in there as well. Okay, now I'm just going to show you here that I just sketched outside the banner, uh, outside the border, and that brought me my exact size. Uh, when you do use Sketch, and grab something. And as you can see, I just grabbed it from Scritch, Sketch, and brought it right back in to the program here. Now this is all one image because that was just taken from Sketch. But now, if you uh, don't want a border at all, then uh, you can erase it, enlarge it, fade it. You know, change it, play around with the style and the size, and uh, you know, completely remove it as well. Because when you do Sketch and uh, watch us here. I just want to point out that when you do your sketch, oops, that was a bit of a mistake. Uh, you can always grab your size, or you can always monitor your size. You can see right down here, you can actually, s let me just, I'll just zoom on that. Let me just zoom on that. You can actually see your exact size here, and even if it's a couple pixels off, doesn't doesn't even matter. So now you have a header without the border now. And there it is in my in my files. That's like a two-minute border. You can do a lot better than that um, uh, using using the tools in this program. And I'll just show you some of the stuff um, that I work on in Sketch. This like my history. Like as you can see, I use it a lot here. A lot of images in 
bring it into videos, any other software that I might be working on, uh, and just find it. Once once you download it, you're, you're really going to love it. Okay, hope that helps. Don't forget to watch those videos on the uh, Macintosh, uh, on the Apple site, uh, where uh, Keynote is, because it explains a bit more about the Alpha, but once you use it, you're, you're going to figure it out instantly. All right, take care. Hope that helps.